This is Mr. Priscilla, and today in College Algebra, we're going to be writing equations of circles and graphing circles. A little review about circles, something all of you already know. I'm sure at some point in your life, you graphed circles with a compass, maybe in public school. The compass has a sharp point on one side and a, a pencil on the other, and you put the sharp point down and draw a, a circle. Where that sharp point rests, we call that the center of the circle. And the distance from the center to the outer edge of the circle, that's called the radius. So we have center and radius. We're going to denote the center of the circle. Notice that's a, order, that's a point. That's an ordered pair. We're going to call it HK. The X coordinate of the center is H. The Y coordinate of the center is K. And we're going to use the letter R to denote the radius. To write the equation of a circle centered at HK with the radius of R, you're going to do this. You go X minus the x-coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center squared equals the radius squared. So x minus whatever that x-coordinate is. If h were negative, you're going to wind up with a plus inside here. The same thing for k. Uh, here's our homework problem we're going to do. Number one. Can y'all see that? It says find the center and radius form of the equation of the circle and then graph it. Well, if this is your H and your K, can y'all imagine going through plugging a zero in for H and a zero in for K? If you plug a 0 in for H and a 0 in for K, you're going to have something like this. X minus 0 squared plus Y minus 0 squared equals, now the radius is 4, 4 squared. Which one of those would this simplify down to? It would be this one right here. It's just a multiple choice. Now, to graph this, you're going to have a little graphing tool, which I'll demonstrate in the next video, hopefully. But basically, you're going to click right here with the circle. And then it's real easy to graph it. You just plot the center. And then you move over whatever the radius is. You're going to take your mouse, move over four. And when you do that, it's going to draw the circle for you, okay? It's a nice little graphing tool on here. You plot the center, and then move over however many units you are, your uh, radius is. And I'll demonstrate that graphing tool, hopefully, in another video. Let's see. You can see I have a note on which ones I want to do. Number... Four. I'm going to do number four. Let's see. There. Is that better? The center is negative four, five, and the radius is three. And we're going to write the equation. So can y'all do that little substitution? If you replace this H with a negative four, what are you going to have in the parentheses? Are you going to have x minus 4 or x plus 4? You're going to have x minus minus, which is x plus 4. So, here I am writing the equation. x minus, I'm replacing that blue h with a blue negative 4. The minus negative becomes a positive squared plus y minus k squared 
equals the radius squared. 3 squared is going to be 9. So which one is it here? Can you all see the answer choices? X plus, no, it's not that one. It's one of the ones that has 9 over here. Is it C? Yeah, it's C, isn't it? Well, it's been a while since I've made these videos. I've sort of missed it. Now to graph it, again, you're going to use this graphing tool, which I hope to have to demonstrate in another video. To graph it, you just locate left 4 up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're plotting the center. One, two, four, five. Left 4 up 5. You plot that center, and then you're going to take your mouse and move over three units, and the circle will be there. Just move over three. Wait. Mm, yeah, three. So can you imagine? One, two, three, two. I should have brought a compass with me. It'll do some, look something like that. That might have a really good graph of that one somewhere. Here's the graph. A really good one. Okay, the center left four up five, radius three. Notice when you're doing this graphing, you're not using the equation. You're using only the center and radius. Now like every algebra class you've ever taken, you do stuff one way then you go backwards. Here, we're given the center, right, an equation. Now could you go backwards? Could you come up with a rule on how to figure out, given the equation, find the center and radius? Look at the equation and look at the center and radius. If you didn't have that center and radius, what would you do with this? How could you come up with that center and radius? Well, notice here you have a plus 4, but the center is actually a negative 4. Here you have a minus 5, but that y coordinate there is positive 5. So to find the center, given the equation, you're going to change the sign change the sign, and then take the square root of this last number. So to go backwards, to find the center, you change the sign on the number in the parentheses with x, change the sign on the number in the parentheses with y, square root of that last number. Why am I mentioning that? Well, look right here. Look at this one. Number six. It just says graph the circle. Well, in order to graph it, you've got to know that center and radius. So, let's find the center. To find the center, you change the sign change the sign, then define the radius, square root. You follow my logic? Change the sign, change the sign. The radius is the square root of 36. The radius would be 6. And once we know that, can we graph it? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. Graph it, you go right to down three, and then you move over six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you move over like that, it's going to be drawing the circle for you. So the graph will look something like that right there. Right to down three. Move over 6, and it'll show the circle. 
It's a very nice graphing tool that we have here. And again, I hope to have another video. The next video should be me using that graphing tool, okay? Now, let's see. Let's do one more of those. Let's do number seven. It's very important. Given this equation, here, let me write it. Let me do this. Okay. So let's graph the circle, so we need to find the center and radius. So, do the change the sign, change the sign. Change the sign of the number in the parentheses with X. Change the sign of the number in the parentheses with Y. Take the square root of that last number. So this circle is centered at negative 3, negative 4, and has a radius of 2. So left 3, down 4, right there, and then just move over 2. When you move over 2, It'll draw the circle for you. Looks something like that. But here's the here's a really nice picture of the circle. Left three, down four, there's the center. Move over two and it draws the circle. This is a very nice tool that we're using here. We're going to click on this button here. I think we used all the, uh, these other tools here, the line tool, the absolute value, quadratic. We used some of those already. Oh, um, it doesn't show the cubic tool there. But uh, either way, the next video that you see hopefully will be me demonstrating this tool. It'll just be a really short uh, video. Okay? So work on these circles. I guess the natural question to ask is, well, how the heck would you do something like number 8? Here, we want to know the center and radius, but it's not written in this form. It's all expanded out. Imagine pouring all this stuff out. Someone got overzealous. What would you do then? And that's in another video. It's something called completing the square, and those are the last couple of last few videos I think there might be three videos in your assignment dealing with how to take this and write it so it looks like that something called completing the square okay well we're out of time right now and I want to film another video with me using that graphing tool so thank you for watching bye bye